We're underway for this opening four-year-old Mare's Maiden and Tosca Time has jumped off with her seven rivals. It's C. Nora who leads them in these early stages as they head on towards the first, being chased by Tosca Time with Queen's Melody Just Made It and Fire Force. After Fire Force races, the change of colours give her the holly, the bright green jacket on the outside of Phoebe's Charm as they go out over fence number one, no problem for the leaders. Tosca Time, or the back of the field, Rumos L is the overall back marker. Left-handed they race, having safely negotiated fence number one, and the field already getting quite well strung out. Already about 12 to 15 lengths would cover the eight runners, with C. Nora extending her advantage. She's gone the best part of six lengths clear over the second running Tosca Time who in turn races five lengths in front over the third running just made it, the only one in the lineup with previous point-to-point -point experience. She sits in the third position and she in turns about three lengths then in front over Queen's Melody as the leader C. Nora comes towards fence number two, steadies into it, pops out over fence number two after Queen's Melody and in the fourth position is Fire Force, a better jump from Fire Force on the outer over number two. They're being followed by Giver the Holly and Phoebe's Charm. They race side by side in sixth and seventh positions and the overall back marker is Rumos L. So left-handed they race, about to leave the back straight behind them, heading on their way towards number three, which will bring them on the run towards the home straight. And it's still C. Nora and Patrick Cody, locally trained, has the advantage through these early stages in this opening four-year-old Mare's Maiden. is being followed by Tosca Time as they close in on this third fence, just made it in the third position, is being followed by Queen's Melody and Fire Force. Good jump by Queen's Melody on the inside. At the back of the field, Rumos L was slightly slower than the seven in front of her as they race left-handed into the home straight, heading on their way towards fence number four. It's the first of three in this lineup, the home straight, which will bring them towards the completion of their opening circuit. And it's C. Nora, the white jacket with the green stars, has the advantage over Tosca Time in purple and pink colours. This one has previous experience for the from the flat. Ran three times over in England for Sylvester Kirk. Just made it, who was a penultimate fence faller at Les Rhone on her debut three weeks ago. Sits in the third position. Is being followed by Queen's Melody. Black jacket with the red cap is on the inside of Just Made It. Black and orange hooped colours. There's a three length break back to Phoebe's Charm. The blue colours with the yellow cap from the bright green of give her the holly as our leader is safe at over number six rumos l and the checks yellow and purple is the overall back marker but all safely out over fence number six they've completed well over their first circuit as they race left-handed on this long run into the back straight a good run before they get to fence number seven which will mark the halfway point in our opening four-year-old mare's maiden and c nora with the advantage and patrick cody leads Still racing about 12 lengths clear over Tosca Time and Shane O'Rourke in the second position from Just Made It and Harry Swan in third. They're being followed by Queen's Melodies on the inside and Troy Walsh with Fire Force and Jamie Scallon on the outer. Give her the Holly is next and Simon Kavanagh being followed by Phoebe's Charm and uh, this one with Ross Sugru was just out jumped over that seventh fence by Give her the Holly. And Rumos L and Danny Fitzgerald still the back marker of the eight. And this leader, C. Nora, has shown her rivals a clean pair of heels throughout. It's as far clear as she has been at any point in this contest. Leads now by over 15 lengths to Tosca Time, who heads the chasing pack, who are beginning to bunch up somewhat in behind. Just made it and fire force. Queen's Melody is next from Phoebe's Charm. Give her the holly and Rumos L still at the rear of the field as out over fence number eight goes C. Nora still racing clear. From in second, Tosca time. Safely out over number eight. Give her the holly still last but one. The overall back marker still being filled by Fromos L. Left-handed they race back into the home straight on their way towards the next, which is fence number nine. And it is in front, C. Nora. Took a chance out over it, did the leader, but she survives. Still has the advantage as they go out over to Tusk at time. Just made it racing in the third position, is being followed further back in the field by Fire Force. 
as they continue their run up the home straight. We've lost Phoebe's Charm down along the back and we've lost Fire Force there. It was a casualty at the sixth last. So we're down to the six runners. They head on their way towards the fence, which is five from the finish. Sinora still with the advantage, racing clear over Tosca time. Just made it is next from Queen's Melody. After Queen's Melody races, give her the holly and... Ramos L is still at the rear of the field. So these six runners well strung out as they race inside the final mile in this four-year-old mare's maiden. They still got four fences left to jump and they've to catch this Sinora has raced clear of the field throughout the contest and she turns left-handed into the back straight with an advantage over 15 lengths from Tosca time. The previous, the previous experience from the flat is in the second spot. There's then six lengths back to just made it. She in turn races three in front over Give Her the Holly and Queen's Melody as this Senor heads on towards the fourth last is safely out over it. Over Tosca time in second, now going out over the fourth last from Just Made It and Queen's Melody are next. Give Her the Holly was just having to be bustled away from that fourth last. Ramos L continues to be weighted with at the rear of the field, but Senor is still clear as the chasing pack begin to bunch up down towards the end of the back straight. They've still got three left to jump in this four-year-old mayor's maiden. With Sinora to be caught as she races left-handed towards the cross vent. Tosca time heads the chasing pack with Give Her the Holly and Vromos L. They're both trying to make a move now. They're going to try and reel in this Sinora with Just Made It. Queen's Melody has dropped to the rear of the field and is being driven as Sinora is safely out over the third last fence. Mistake by Give Her the Holly. Vromos L was slow and dropped towards the rear of the field. But Sinora still has this clear advantage of 12 lengths as she straightens on up towards the second last. Tosca time is the one that's trying to bridge the gap as they race on towards the second and Sinor is down. Sinor had the race at her mercy when crashing out at the second last. That's presented the race to Tosca time. Horse and rider safely up at the second last but it's Tosca time to the final fence. She wasn't foot perfect out over but under Shane O'Rourke for Dara Berry. Tosca time raced three times unsuccessfully on the flat for Sylvester Kirk but She's made a winning Irish debut. Tosca Time takes the four-year-old mares. Give her the holly. And Queen's Melody fatted it out for second and third. Ramos Ellen just made it.